What's up, pipe smokers? Tobacco pipe collector here, Mike. <clears throat> Picked a, a sad day to do a box opening. Um, I know a lot of a lot of you pipe presenters that have been around for a while suffered a huge loss today, and uh, I'd say us new guys, from the sounds of it, lost a guy that uh, I really wish I would have got a chance to know. So, uh, old pipe pops, sweet smokes in heaven, <sighs> rest in peace. Um, I'll carry on with the rest of the video. I thought I'd better put that in there and and wish his family the best. And my condolences to all you guys that have gotten to know him and, and wish that I would have. Um, on a little higher note, I've got a huge box from a good guy. I, I gave him a shout in my last video. His name's Brandon, Sooner Fan 7337. Talked to him a few times and he asked me a bunch of tobaccos and if I tried them or not. And the list was getting pretty long, but I didn't expect him to send them all to me. And from the feel of this box, he may have sent them all. I don't know. So we'll just we'll just go into it. Everyone was cooling out, pulling out cool knives for their box opening, so I thought I'd pull out one of my dad's old knives. It's wood. Pretty wicked piece of steel there. Let's see if we can't chop this mama open without killing anything in it. Let's see what he got in here. Brandon, Brandon, really too good. Really appreciate it, man. I'm gonna have to name this the the ultimate box opening. Cool little letter. Well, Brandon, thank you very much. Explain some of these. Alright, I've heard him talk about this. It may be hard to read. This one says Billy Bud. He talked about that one before, one I haven't smoked yet. Good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to smell every one of these because there's looking like there's quite a bit. Boswell's Piper's Pleasure. That one smells good. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. Oh yeah. This is crazy. I haven't even broke into the thing yet. Boswell Berry Cobbler. Oh yeah, he knows I like that sweet stuff. Oh, sweet. Jesus. This one he says is from his local tobacco shop, Peaches and Cream. It doesn't, doesn't smell overwhelmingly sweet. Look forward to trying that. Sooner fan 7337, check them out. Wow. Peterson's 3P. 10. Good God. I barely broke into this thing. Oh, yeah. I want Reese. I 
this plug. That's going to be good. Still more in here. GL piece. Some jackknife plug. Yes. Man, Brandon. You really outdone yourself, my friend. I think this is Sam's. No, Dan's tobacco. Malonga. It's got a good smell to it. Can't wait to try these. I don't know which one to start with. Uh, still more. Salani X. Sweet mystery. Oh, that does smell sweet. This might be the one. I need something sweet today. <clears throat> Still more? Oh yeah. A, ton, a tin of Dunhill early morning pipe. You guys keeping track of all this? I've lost track already. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten different tobaccos. And there's still more. Some connoisseurs pipe tobacco. Quarteto by Brevia. Sweet. You just helped restock my cellar, Brandon, for sure. And there's still more. Oh, yeah. I've been pushing these Sutliff blends. And this is one I haven't tried. What does it say? Molto Dolce. Look forward to... to giving that one a whirl, for sure. Oh, good. Finally to the bottom. My goodness, Brandon. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tins. Plug from Island Reese. Four bags. Boswell's. Good God. That's amazing. Dude, seriously, I can't, can't believe it. You have upped the ante, my friend. I am going to have to really get a box together for you. I've got some ideas. I don't think I'll have too much trouble sending you some pretty cool stuff. A lot of you guys have seen some of the stuff we're working on and have in the works. I'm going to be sending you one of these I've been working on. I've got a pine one made up for you, too. Yeah, wow. I don't even know where to begin. But what I am going to do, because I've had a few people ask, I know I've got a lot of um, long-time pipe smoker channel followers that aren't going to need this. You can stop watching it now, I guess, if you want or something. But I'm going to uh, quickly go through. That buzzes my heater, by the way. I hope it doesn't come over too loud. What I'm going to do real quick is pack a pipe. I've had some people ask me about it. And I'm just going to go... I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. These old, I won't say old timers because they're not all young. The veterans, we'll call them. You kind of come up with your own way after you understand the theory of packing a pipe. But I'm going to do it the way I would dare say all of us have been taught. But I might be off base there. But you just gravity fill your pipe. 
is me being a little more cautious than usual, but just to get the point across. This is my Nording, Nording Boar hunting pipe. I don't know if you guys have met. This white stem is made to look like a tusk. I think you guys met in my video tour of my collection. Alright, so I've filled it up to the top. Soft tamp down to about half bowl. Just a soft one. Same thing, gravity feed. Top of the bowl. This tamp's going to be a little harder. You'll go down to three quarter bowl. Then the top, gravity feed again. This will be your firmest tamp. Get on there pretty good. Test the draw before you light it. it should be about like sucking soda through a straw. That's a good, about that same amount of uh, resistance. And I've got it right there. If you don't have it, if you need to pack it a little tighter, pack it. If you've packed it too tight, use, loosen it up. Either start all over or see if you can get the, the pipe to go after that. I usually, when I started, I'd, I'd loosen it up, dump it out, and start all over. But people have different names for what I'm doing right now. A false light, a first light. A char light. That first light is going to expand that tobacco. Char the top layer. Sometimes you can smoke off it, sometimes it takes that second light. And a frustrating thing for beginning pipers is they feel bad that they have to relight their pipe. It's not a bad thing. Tobacco's a little bit wet, so... starts going out, you can cover the bowl, but that one's not going out. Three lights, you stop to talk, just like a cigar, it'll go out, it's not that big of a deal, tamp it and light it again. Enjoy smoking your pipe, even if you have to relight it, I mean it's not that big of a deal. That's a good tobacco. Salani. Well, Brandon, Sooner Fan 7337, you've set the bar pretty high, my friend. <clears throat> Check out my co admin, Briar Fiend, Johan, and again, Old Pipe Pops. I wish I could have got to know you. This pipe's for you, man. <laughs>